May it please you, sir. My name is Joan Lim and I represent the prosecution in this matter. Okay. The defence has put forth an application for bail to which the prosecution must oppose. Sir, just two years ago, the defendant was convicted of dangerous driving and driving with excess alcohol. He was not only sentenced to six months imprisonment, but was also disqualified from driving for three years. And while still serving this period of disqualification, the defendant went on yet again to commit the same offence of driving with excess alcohol, and thus it is clear from the facts that the defendant's likelihood of conviction is very high. In, if convicted, this will have repercussions on the theft that he had committed just 10 months ago. So, the defendant was given a 12-month conditional discharge for the offence. And similarly, while still within that 12-month period, the defendant went on to commit the above charges. And so, prosecutor, so uh, what was the previous convictions of the accused person? Can you repeat, please, so, yes. so that I can take it down? Sure. The accused was convicted two years ago of dangerous driving and driving with excess alcohol. Then, uh, what was the sentencing? For that particular, he was sentenced to six months imprisonment and also disqualified from driving for three years until he passes the extended driving test. So has the accused person served all the sentencing? Yes, he, he has served the six months imprisonment, but is still within the three three years disqualification period. Okay, the fine. The offense. Does the accused person still have other convictions apart from the two years? Yes. The accused has other spent convictions relating to public order drink related offences. Mm -hmm. What about the 12 months conditional discharge that you mentioned just now? Yes, for that discharge, he was. this was the sentence for the theft that he committed 10 years ago where he stole two bottles of whiskey. Mm. And then the accused person has been discharged conditionally? Yes, but he is, again, he is still within the 12 month period. Okay, sure. You may proceed. So, as I've just highlighted above, the defendant's likelihood of conviction is almost certain, which means that he faces a possible double sentencing, which will compel him to abscond to avoid the sentence. Further, the defendant also has no obligation or commitment to remain in the country. Firstly, he has no family here. Instead, he goes back regularly to the Republic of Ireland every two months to visit his mother, of which he is also a citizen there. Secondly, the defendant does not have a permanent job, but works on a casual basis instead. And lastly, the defendant has no fixed housing accommodation, but chooses, chooses to live in cheap bed and breakfast accommodations. In fact, his address at Mayfair Villa's bed and breakfast was also a new one. And so, even if he had paid two weeks advance on boarding fees, he could just as easily forfeit this nominal sum, and it would not deter him from absconding overseas, possibly to the Republic of Ireland where he has his family there. No. This does believe that if the defender were to be granted the liberty of bail, he would abscond and fail to return to the court. Also, given the high likelihood of his conviction and the relatively swift court proceedings that this would entail, the prosecution requests that the defender be remanded in custody. Alright. So, prosecution, can I just ask, does the accused person have any family members uh, within the UK? From the facts given, no. Yes. All right. And then, uh, what kind of job is he doing at the moment? He is a skilled building laborer, but he works on a casual basis, which mm. means that he does not have permanent work commitments. And then, how much he earn from his casual work? Uh, it is said that he is well paid, but the actual amount is uncertain. Okay. Thank you.